Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It is day five of the Misery Gauntlet event, and the old man still lives. The Archmage Stormbrand Hierophant. Last time I got some gear upgrades. Just grinding white maps like crazy. Still no five link yet. Got Arcane Cloak worked into the build giving me a more effective guard skill while also giving me extra damage. I guess let's see here. Like I'm getting close to 8k effective EHP and I have not done a yellow map because they're crazy. They've got like triple onslaught and the white maps don't have any extra speed at all. It's just like, I, I really don't know if I want to do that. So the white map grind continues. There's three T5 maps, one T4 map missing i get this t4 map and i can use a divine vessel to get a 10 percent chance to avoid projectiles i really want that and i do have horizon orbs so it's probably more efficient to use them on the t5 maps given that i'm missing three but i also don't want to run a vault pyramid so a lookout that's more favorable so i'll hold that and yeah i'll wait for another map that i don't care about running i still need the black morrigan as well to get another charm socket currently i've got five percent ellie pin increased effective buffs by golems i could maybe squeeze a golem into the build hmm stone golem would be more life regen which my life regen's pretty close to 10% and a flame golem would be damage. Probably the best one I could get is a lightning golem or the cast speed. Hmm, how do I work that? Um, what else does that need? A minion life, meat shield. I don't have three sockets though. I could get the blue socket. Well, let's let's do that. Do uh two socket, three socket till it goes blue. There it is. Give me a red or link that. Then that's my vitality. Frost blink, lightning golem, minion life. Sure, it's going to always die. <laughs> Nothing I can really do about it. I will level the meat shield just in case that becomes a possibility. Though I really don't see things I want to give up. Hopefully today I can get my hands on five or six link and get a big damage upgrade with that. My atlas passive tree. I've got extra shrine durations, additional shrine, curac drop chance, chance for comprehensive scouting reports, curac mission chance, extra scouting reports and i'm working on the quant wheel currently i could go ahead and go in for syncreticism for the double shrine buffs but i feel like the quant is probably more important and it's going to be harder to keep getting these passives here without pushing to higher tier maps so it's going to take some work i looked up the mods as well and red maps have four additional projectiles only 20 percent move attack cast speed as opposed to the 60 in yellow maps and 30 percent increased aoe this is chaos but not the ellie pin so the ellie pin has been the thing i've been the most afraid of and that's just over with that's only a campaign thing which is still very weird oh black sun crest come on the one in thousand Nope, it's a five hundred dollar bounty on a perfect one of those that I do not think has been claimed. Is it really one in a thousand? Five to fifteen, so that's eleven. One twenty-one times eleven is twelve ten plus one twenty-one. Thirteen thirty-one. I really might have better uses for my divine orb, but if it hits five hundred dollars, I'm also still on the lookout for Algor Mortis gloves. If I can get those, that changes a lot because then I will be able to sap enemies on crit and enemies on my cold degen from the cold snap and from frost blink will take big increased lightning damage let's see here uh is this still unclaimed black sun crest 15 dex strength int unclaimed i would rather use the divine to try for that no i can make a quality quicksilver flask now i just got one to drop see i've got reduced charges used what else do i want on this Rich chance isn't bad spell damage leeches yes i think leech kind of factors in the base amount that you have for the rate that it can possibly give but i don't know that spell leech is too big of a deal reduce charges use reduce effective curses ah i mean it's it's more useful than the free shock ignite chance i have crits and i got granite and quartz flask that could still use upgrading i have a quartz flask do i have enough blacksmiths to get more i do Whalem sells glass blowers for eight blacksmiths each i got reduced effective curses there i have reduced effective shock 
on my current quartz flask. I mean, this flask is rolled really nicely. I pretty much made the same thing, but worse. And then my granite flask has cast speed. There's a cast speed reduce charge is used. If I can find a granite flask, I don't have a higher level one yet. So I'll be on the lookout for that. Chance to recover mana when you use a skill. That's good. AOE per durance charge mana is extra ES. That's nifty. I'll hold that. Where is the Moon Temple? That is connected to Ash and Wood and Estuary. I don't think I have any of that. No. Colonnade might be able to get me a tropical island. I found the Biles. I've now found the Wild One and the Vivid One. Still need the Black Morgan. I saw that I already had 800 Vivid. So because of that, I decided not to fight them. I got three Gym Cutters Promise cards. 20 quality Lightning Tendrils. Interesting. Something I would definitely want to hold on to in case I want to go fishing in lab to try. Let's say hypothetically, if I get to the point where I can do bosses, if you want boss kills to count for points, you have to use a transfigured gym and the storm brand of indecision or indifference, whatever it's called, would be better for bossing anyways. So I would want that. Hmm. Chance to gain non-chaos as extra chaos. That's not bad. Tropical Island. And an Ash and Wood. Nice. Two of my favorite maps. Old School Flavor Z. Died at level 94. Rip 8% Frenzy Charge on hit. That's really good. Divine Shrine. Ha ha ha. I unlocked the It That Fled craft so I could have Lightning as extra chaos. The Ilar decks. Plus one max power charges. Extra damage taken from mana per power charge. The power charge loses its crit. Hmm. Joffrey's Sanctuary. 2 ES per 5 strength. Life regen applied to energy shield. I have tons of life regen. But no, there's no way that could work. I could make an ivory tower work. That would actually open up a lot of things. And then I wouldn't need to be mind over matter necessarily at that point. That would change lots of things though. Oh, why did it have to revive itself? Oh my goodness. Fighting stuff in this zone is one of the most terrifying things. I'm just like waiting to get corpse exploded. At least I have chaos resistance, but it drops rare jewelry belts and stuff. Sometimes rare, I guess. Double ashen woods drop. Connected to my moon temple. That's big. Got vermilion ring at home. I'm gonna take the regal orbs though. Probably more useful. Oh, why is it a sadist garb? That's so acquirable. Oh, it's six link. Uh, defer it. I need to have it. Man. Stand up for Lance. Dead at level 95. Rip got a moon temple with a horizon orb. Cool. Make the divine vessel. The only thing I ate. Well, unless I. I shouldn't need to change resistances on things, ideally. So I. I think the only thing I have for Vivid Life Force is to re-roll oils. There's a crimson. Alright, no gold. If I get a gold oil, I can anoint Heart of Thunder. 10% chance to avoid projectiles. I found the biles again. I'm running away from them again. Not gonna let that be the reason I die. No, Woodlander Joe, rank 9. Rip. There's a flash bounty race to delve depth 250. Karn beat SBB. SBB was the first to 150 and 200. Dry sea map. Last one has been acquired. Level 87. Last white map completed. I've been at it for two hours and 40 minutes in T4, T5 white maps to go 86 to 87. Now with this level, I think probably the best thing I can do with it is get this 32% mana regeneration rate. I still have my Omen of Refreshment, so I have not been below 25% life. That's good. Cleaned out my three dump tabs. Got a shield with T1 armor ES and T1 life. A little bit of block. So it's missing some stuff that my shield currently has, but comes with some pretty nice upside aside from the like mana mana region loss. I don't know that I could just slap that in easily. Helmet, armor ES base, but 107 life with rarity of items from rare unique enemies. Open prefix there. A shield with 87 spell damage. Extra block chance. Plus one max fire res crit chance for spells. Damage wise, this would be an upgrade, but again, losing mana. And I like how this would kind of flip back the attack and spell block. And then a potential new chess piece. Glorious plate. It has more armor than my current one without an armor roll on it 
It's got extra strength as is, it's better. With the ability for a craft, which I would want to be percent life mana, which I do not have currently. So I'm going to sit on that because I want to go do this heist stuff and see if I can fish a five link out of there. Also going to trim up some rare items, wands, boots, gloves, helmets. I'm just going to see the tier bases that I have in my filter. I really don't want sort stuff. I'm really looking for the armor ES stuff across the board. Turn off mana flasks and life flasks and add amethyst ring to normal bases i'm looking for because i'm not finding enough profane wands to alk them all sitting on 72 alchemy orbs like there's no purpose to that really i could maybe well that that uses chaos but that's more mana that's all uses chaos it's only the life crafts that use the alchemies this ring has a lightning res craft do i need that to be there no remove crafted mods open prefix here i can craft more mana i can craft mana regenerate or i could craft more chaos res only to 20 30 on the mana regen i wish i had better than that but i think i would prefer to have the mana region it all adds up i'm gonna dump all of my chance orbs for scourings probably gonna need those to scour down these heist contracts all uh, right and i gotta see this big block of text on my screen there's div card rewards in here so i'm gonna hit the other chests i really don't need div cards Ooh. ooh, ooh. okay logging out here is not quite as Free. That was close. Did I really not get below 20% life? Yes. And I got a focal stone. Job speed wrath. Perfect. Exalted orb. Yo. I have to get it into my brain somehow that I need to be willing to part with every bit of loot that I pick up. <laughs> That's not an easy thing to do. All right. Wand. Exalted. Flat lightning damage. Boo. Agility missions can be what I'm looking for, I guess. Looking for these armor chests. They drop five links quite often. Ah, uh, I see see why it was so tough these enemies have natural lightning res and they're normally the most dangerous of them anyways so that's good yeah with curse and exposure it's still showing them as having lightning res that's bad hey granite flask finally i do have to say that that level five wrath's very helpful <laughs> need lock picking and demolition leveled up frost blink level 19 ready to level up grand recalls gonna hit level six as well that's good i mean the others are not too far behind. Two Gianna reveals. You reveal these wings and then run the blueprint. Even though it's level 55, it's going to have the Ellie pin, Fizz's Chaos. Should be okay. I want to fill it with people that are level one and jobs and try and level as many people up as possible. All right, speed, Ellie pin, Fizz's Chaos. Okay, but the unique enemy just dies. So now a bunch of gems that are going to need quality. Got me wondering about Merc Lab. Merc Lab is a level 68 zone. Did it not have the Fizz's extra? If I can run Merc Lab for gym quality, like. As much as it's gonna suck, it's something that should probably be done. Okay, here's a five link. Joy. Trinket for Harbinger items, div cards. Augments is chaos. I don't think I need that one. Or I take 12 scourings. Mm, that's not the five link I want. I'm taking the scourings. And here come all the gems. And, and Karst leveled up and agility. Huck leveled up engineering. Tibbs leveled up in brute force. Ha! Uh-oh. I tripped the lockdown. Oopsies. I have to pick quick. Trinket. No. Rock breaker. Replica hind chorus. That. Lock leveled up. Tibbs leveled up. Isla leveled up. What is this hind chorus site? You cannot be maimed. Plus one all max res. Lots of armor and accuracy. Stop terrible okay there's a five link that is usable a low item level replica ambus lose two percent of life per second if you've been hit okay no replica quill rain replica winter heart replica reckless defense chance to be frozen shock and ignite it's max rolled too if i was ailment immune that'd be insane i think that has the most potential use so i take the jewel if that chest wasn't level 55 i would have probably taken it i'd rather like manually five link something myself before trying that and that's why i'm doing this because i was about to try and five link that new chest that i got and figured i should at least fish for something first let's see here merc lab huh okay well, i'm here i'm gonna run this one i guess
No, no, no. Oh, I hate this. Man. Oh, my heart. I dove into it again. At least there was a little more room to move around in that one. Five link staff. I got a soul mantle. Bonus treasure keys. 4% quality. Vitality gets AoE. That doesn't matter. Brand recall gets cooldown recovery. And it just gained more cooldown recovery. I'm getting really close, honestly, to dropping this sign of purpose. Then I could get Illuminated Devotion. And then I would only really have to focus on mana. You know, I don't know that I would need that. Like, if I had a six link, getting Sanctuary of Thoughts definitely something that's decent. You can get a ton of AoE there. Cuts the meta in half, but with a six link, it's going to get costly anyways. And then the big mana is extra ES. I could then swap these nodes to the other side, get some of the cooldown recovery back. Extra brand attachment range is extra, like, clear coverage. And then if I really need the duration that I'd be losing there, I just take the mastery for, um, oh, there's not duration there. Oh, it would be okay. I could take the cooldown recovery if I needed more cooldown recovery. Stormbrand's already quality all the way up. That's fine. Wave of Conviction gets pin. Conductivity shocks longer. No. Shield charge movement speed's really good. Sigil of power. Enemies in area deal less damage. One per five quality. That's really good. More effective chill from the cold snap is good. Buff effect from arcane cloak is good. Mm, I'm gonna have to farm a lot of this. It makes me sad, but for an event like this, it's understandable as it's the best way i can't do other things really necessarily to avoid it i'm not gonna flip my gems either till i finish in heist <laughs> another currency oil trinket nice well it's almost exactly what the other one was just not as good on the currency absence of value and meaning is that the maven five link but as it might act that's kind of what i'm hoping for though i just need a armor chest first to kill the elder what is the name of the maven's zone <laughs> five link majestic plate hmm the five link. Nice. Chaotic disposition from a stack deck. Do not have T1 trap disarmament. I don't want to take Isla in trap disarmament. Only level two perceptions as well. So four contracts I can't do at the moment. So the other blueprint then. Only two wings, but it's okay. No armor rooms. Oh, there's a level one perception in here. That's good. Lock picking one. Talina, Agility 1, Arst. Mm, I'll do Nanette. I need to get her leveled. So Gianna has Wrath. Got a Determination. Wrath. Where's the Zealotry? Give that to Gianna. Yeah. Oh, Tibbs is coming as well. Tibbs needs a Brooch. Awesome. It's duplicated Stack Decks. It still feels good, even though I really don't need to be going after Stack Decks. I like getting them. Five Link Battery Staff. Five Link Abyssal Axe. Jagged Foil Tailoring Orb. Okay, I need to take the Tailoring Orb. Ball Orbs, Four Link, Replica Prism Weave. Mm, do I need 17 Vol Orbs? I guess I take the Prism Weave. Like, if I have to level up character again, like, having this is just GG. I don't know what I would do with all the Vol Orbs. All right, no five link acquired. Well, I did get a five. Not a base that I'm willing to invest trying to get four blue sockets on. Halfway to level 88 though. Finished with more rogue markers than I started with too. And I just, I can't, I can't run this. <laughs> I don't want to, I'm afraid I will die if I run that blue. All, all it takes is one security specialist to do that like charge forward attack with the lightning. And that's a fizz base attack. That's fizz's extra chaos. That's converted into lightning, and that lightning damage penetrates me, and I'm dead. It's it's not the play. I guess I I'm sorry for withholding that rip clip from you. <laughs> Who pulls from the void? Ten chisels, malicious Gemini claw. Okay, now to see if I actually got anything good out of that. Lots of jewelry. So hopefully, Doctor Dexter. Died at level 94. Rip. An amulet with 80 life on it. A life jewel. Damage with axes. Accuracy. Melee crit multi. Fire skill multi. Corrupted skill effect duration. Strength int. With life chaos res on a belt. And then I'm just saving all the blue jewels. That's it. All right. 
Up next, Atlas mission, run this T5 Olmec Sanctum. I have 15 missions currently. I want to see if I can get a few more Atlas skill points, and then I will go flip my gems and go back to running the white maps, trying to get the Morgan. Oh yes, torment it, please. I hope that counts as in it. It wasn't that bad. Oh, so much stuff though. Boss time. Please stay in my circle. It did not rip. There we go. Now it's back in the circle. Oh no, lag, lag. Ah, come back. There we go. That's my hourly lag spike. Saintly chainmail. Ah, 422. That's another quant though. Oh, I got a few blessed orbs. Maybe I can bless my belt. Let's go. Let's go above 30. There we go. Yeah. Now, craft granite flask. Reduce charges armor. I'd have to give up the cast speed here for that. Hmm. It's a really good flask, though. Let's see the difference. So if I push the flask, 3366, 4909. That is a big difference. And then do I give up the reduced shock? Nah, this reduced shock effect is giving me 100% reduced effect of shock with the Pantheon. Try and craft the other granite flask. Reduce charges use shock effect. So if I swap this in, I have 20% flasks. I keep my cast speed. They're both reduced charges now. Yep, so now I have all quality flasks stack of div cards and a dry sea probably not all right nothing here i need and now is when i hit the scouting report what's corrupted the reef is corrupted less armor reduced chance to block reef is like a t13 or 14 map why well, i'm like looking at the corrupted ones first i think i gotta run that and then charges can't be stolen from me because they're just there and there's a smuggler's cache yep and this is how we stay in white maps and complete the entire atlas with enough grinding. It could take me like three days. Five link battle lameller. Forbidden tome. Boss is getting roasted too. I can do it in multiple pieces. Oh, uh, yeah. That was indeed a T14 map. And now I get 1% more quant. And all of my eight white maps. Lighted map. No, I can't run that. Reduced effect of auras means less mana region. That's bad. Expedition? Hmm. Expedition could give me some kind of reroll currency because I have none. And then maybe I can use Rog to buy a base and then use that for my chest no guarantee that is rog though i'm gonna do it first time i've done a physics extra map oh it's right at the beginning too and it's rog worth oh and there's a sacred Grove. I have not seen many harvests. It would be so much easier to find stuff if I had enough Atlas passives to block things. Not leech. That's fine. Rare weapons. Come on. Give me a reroll. Nope. This one. I need to reroll. All right. Corrupted. Sure. That's a T6. Corrupted Orchard. Two bosses. Orchard. Let's see here. I think that's a T13. No. Orchard is T12. The Orchard. And there's an expedition here. And another rog. Okay. Grab metal. Let's go. Oh, this really isn't that going to be that bad. Forget I got them gym levels. So map bosses are just going down a little easier than they were before I went to the heist. Tide and Dawn. That is a thing. Okay, rog. Reroll it. What we got? Chain Halberk? No. Gross. I don't know. 83 leather belt the sadist garb men rolled i mean i can take the belt just take it okay re-roll again saintly chain mail close 451 okay there's my chest upgrade the level no add a suffix old res reforge sockets sure reroll suffixes sure oh 10 times in's life that really a okay, skip links no nope. all right omen wand jewel doesn't matter well i most certainly lucked out with that i think so i scour it quality it do i dare tailoring orbit or save it to try and craft a glorious plate. So there is also a bounty. The unclaimed. Highest armor glorious plate at the end of the event. So you need a max rolled base glorious plate high enough to hit all the mods. Then you need tailoring orb to hit the explicit defense mods on it. And then even if you craft a perfect one, you lose to somebody who has a fract- or not a fraction, but a synthesized armor base or something. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna not. Oh, let's sock it. I think the jewelers are being unlucky on me. Please. Come on. 100 left. Okay. Well, woohoo. Maybe later. Oh, what six sockets do I have? Just this one? It's okay. I get more quant in my maps. I can farm these faster. No. 
Still nothing. I purchased a full set of T9 maps. Waka Wairua. Okay. I think I should be able to just like attach the brands and even if the thing blinks away, it's fine. The question is though, is like, do I need to be inside its prox bubble? Really good rarity in here too. So I should clear this map to fish for uniques. Ooh, black sun crest. Nope. All right, gotta defeat the Shade of the Templar. Just don't get flame blasted. You making flame blast totems? Okay. Yeah, all I have to do is be inside of it. The brands will stay attached. Or I guess I can... Warp them to me. Alright, I want more flasks. Yes, yeah, it goes much better when I have my... Quicksilver up. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's still painful. Alright, out of my chill. Ah, this sucks. <laughs> oh, go, 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 go. Gotcha. Quant wheel done. Six more and I have a 15 rarity and three more. This time there's an expedition. Edition. Nah, we got the chest. Let's see, any corrupted wasteland? Probably not doable. Give cards an arid lake, crater, or relic chambers. Relic chambers is doable. I think that is yellow map. Oh, the wasteland is T8. Relic chambers is a T7, so that one's fine. Don't do it. Don't wave a conviction. Don't curse it. Don't. Okay, it's like part of my muscle memory button pushing. Another one down. Go through the harvest stuff. Purchase. Have a city square. Frozen cabins. Give cards. Castle ruins. That's going to be a chaos orb. Give cards and glacier. That could be mitts. I'm going to do that. Oh, it was the mountain. Jewel of potency. I think that's like crit multi one. Rip. Yeah, generic crit multi. Augmented crit multi with lightning skills. <laughs> okay, I don't want to use a regal on that. Ooh, that's a six socket as well. What about these seven? Nope. Ritual. We'll go fishing for that six link. Sadist garb. Use another scouting report. Coves. Twin possessed bosses. Coves is a T11 map. So corrupted. I can handle that. Ow. Yeah, that still hurts. All right. Okay. Two of them down. multi -proj. These projectiles can shotgun these barrels that these guys got. A little scary. GG. Oh, Coves was T10. Rip. Oh, well. Pretty sure the other corrupted one there was also yellow map. Thicket corrupted. I didn't have to use a scattering report for that one. There's also a shore in here. I think those are both T6 maps. They are. Well, I'll take it. The T5 map with yellow map mods. The spell suppression isn't minus 10 and the curse effect isn't 25. The stun only goes to like 15 to 19. I'll make sure that they don't got the crazy speed. This map is really bad with multi proj especially with Fizz's extra uh, as the cannibals will shotgun you. I got a perseverance. I haven't been seeing many legions either. Legions I can try and fish for incubators and get a six link that way. No new ones this time. Another scouting report. Corrupted park that's a T9. Corrupted Curse Crypt is T7. Corrupted Palace is T6. Smuggler's Cash. The Wasteland. Extra damage with Fizz's Extra. Hopefully it's fun. I want the Smuggler's Cash. Old damage crafting recipe. That's right. I can get crafting recipes doing this. Want and Rarity. Promenade is a T6. Speed. This is Lightning. Expedition. I'll take it. I've gotten more from this than I expected. It's given me a few without using the scouting reports. Another Rog as well. Oh, this one's a little 
sketch here. Hey, more scrap metal. Another quantum rarity. Arachnid nest and overgrown ruin I still need for my collection. Missions. A waste pool. L suppression beyond boss life AOE. Okay, we go for another one. All right, let's deal for items with Rog. What do we got? Agate amulet. Strength int one. No. Coral ring. I'll take a coral ring, I guess. Oh, refill prefixes. Sure. Add a prefix. Give me that life. Try it again. Oh. Try to get rip quality it. Caster mods. I'll reroll prefixes again. Life rarity. Ah, I didn't have a currency to like go at that. But ball spirit shield has a better starting block chance than the harmonic would. Get it. Reroll. Vermilion ring. I didn't realize I could pull one of those out of here. I'll take that again. Another coral. Nothing else there this time. Mm, majestic plate. Devout chainmail. They look right, but those aren't the ones. There is a sadist garb. No shields, but I'll take another coral ring, I guess. Reroll prefixes. Nope. I had to see if it's going to hit the life mana for me. Well, that's interesting. I have more bases to work with. All right. This dojo fight did not go well for me in the campaign. It was a little early on my thing. Come on, let's blink over here. Yeah, I'm just gonna hide. Haha. -ha. Get wrecked. Easy. Alright. I got all the corn rarity. I was really thinking I might drop these if I had to to get that, but I got them all. What's next? Hailstrom of Chaos. Okay, let's go. Bring it on. Wait, this has Curse Reflect, I think. I'm just going to drop the Hex Touch then. Yeah, I don't want to reflect my Hex. So now I guess I take Heart of the Grove? No. Work towards Syncreticism. No new ones this time. Last scouting report. Obas? Hmm. Palace is T6. Overgrown Ruins, T8. Crater. Not sure on Crater. It's not corrupted though. Div cards in Overgrown Ruin? In this map, when you go... To the next level, the monster level increases. I'm going to open this for science. Okay, 70% monster damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I go to the next area, I, I, I guess I might get the first taste of what the super speed looks like. Uh-oh, I'm missing one. Oh, there they are. Okay. Good. Perfect. It does not. Made it through that. Suffixes cannot be changed. All right, I have flask or chill. I should probably just do this. Good. Okay, that one's cost of crown. Good, map complete. No new one in here. Only scouting report left is a vol scouting report, and that doesn't guarantee me a map that I have not completed. So I think that might be as far as I go for now. I'm one passive away. I'm gonna risk it. I regaled the monster damage onto this map. I need to know what it's like. Maven's gonna be in the boss? Okay, it's kind of kind of crazy. They are fast. It's got to be faster, I guess. A brand recall be an instant. It's pretty awesome. I got the damage in my four link. Mana regen rank 2. Okay. Maybe it was worth. Huh. That is so many projectiles. Oh, I got a luck. I did get the life flask up right to the end. Where'd he go? Wait, is that him? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He was invisible. Oh, great wolf.
You die, please. Rigwald. Aha! There we go. Syncreticism. Now I can blast maps. Once I get the Black Morgan to show up, that's the next goal. Alright, I'm sitting on four GCPs at the moment. Archmage absolutely has to go. And Lightning Pin, yes. Rulety, no. Frost Blink, Max Trap, no, that's not a support. Port Gems. Restoration's not all the way, nor is that. Hex Touch. Curse Duration. Faster Attacks. Is that really all the support gems I'm flipping? Three? I thought it was going to be more than that. I mean, the increased durations will go at some point, but... Okay. Well, I've proven to myself that I can handle the the yellow maps if, if necessary it'd be better to have more damage which is in the links 15 more rise real quick at the chest no ah just got the most sleep i've had since this thing started there's something that i need to see here i'm really aquarius 67 I'm trying to see if i could fish into an area that was level 68 it doesn't look like it though i have enough maps now that i can just burn a bunch of these really quickly go fishing for the morgan thing i want the most right now you know what maybe not bone crypts in case I want to farm that six link. I found it! Yes! Let's go! Finally! Oh my goodness. This only took an eternity. It's done! Now I gotta find the Huntress. I've yet to see one of these harvest things. This is cool. I'll gladly take this life force. Awesome. Aha! Yes! Charm slot unlocked. Omen Cairn. Omen of Return. Oh! When you die, create a portal to town. Okay, <laughs> that can stay there. Recover 2% of life ES mana on kill. That seems really good. So does 2.2% ES regen per second. Now, I think I really want to use this frenzy charge on hit raider thing. And that will allow me to start really looking into replacing this amulet. The amulet's good, it has spell damage multi, but I really kept this thing around for the frenzy charge on kill. I think for the time being, I'll take another 4% Ellie pin and the mana is ES. Or no, no, no. Nearby enemies cannot gain charges five attack block or a six attack block charge duration yeah i'll take the attack block so that has me at 64 72 on block i like that now it's probably useful to keep farming the wildwood but i can now just blast maps and start hunting for other things i got red tier daily missions as well that's crazy because i completed a red tier map technically i heard it where is it here we go wildwood abomination yeah i still came in here but now i don't have to like min max after blue every single time is step in here another charm yeah it's worth it just for the chance at the chittering eggs if anything else it should be good this map should get me the level then with the number of wisps i got and I need these gems to level back up because my damage tanked a bit oh yeah i got the double shrines now too let's go there's level 88 now with this what are we doing um probably should be a jewel socket and get a jewel i still feel like i want more and more mana recovery yeah i think it has to be the jewel socket a divine vessel 21 more chances at the chest nope all right well i'm gonna have to stop here but next time this thing is getting at least five linked without a doubt i will just be able to blast now for stuff and hopefully i make it to 90 i'm after doing that one yellow map i think it's possible i just would really like to get five link or something i would really like a jewel to roll mana spell damage cast speed while holding a shield i really like that regal it area damage that's a good one that's a really good one a lot of damage out of that and the mana cost has gone up because of the archmage being flipped so that's a big chunk of damage as well but also to the point even with arcane surge up i'm just casting stormbrand constantly and i can drain my mana what about with my flask up no i can't but that's uh kind of yikes it's got me thinking about this mastery for the 10 percent chance to recover when i use a skill but tune in next time to see what happens i'd like to thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me if you'd like to help support my channel, please consider using the super thanks to the heart icon just below the video or by joining to become a member, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.